Hey, what's going on everybody? Joe Munoz, OneStepPrep.com. I want to talk to you about the A320, the phases of the McDo, and specifically the climb phase, a little feature called the pre-select of speed that you can do in the climb phase. Now, on the screen behind me is a simulator that we use right inside our very classroom, which I'm standing in here. And one of the features, I'm going to show it to you right now. Let me just go behind my, my usual point on the podium here. And I want to share with you here, anytime in a 320, when you hit the perf key, it'll take you to, obviously, the performance page. And on the top, you can see what phase of flight we're in. So right now, it's showing the takeoff phase. Of course, I can click over to the next phase. And we get the climb phase. We're going to next get the cruise phase, the descent, the approach, the go around. And a phase that is not even shown here is the done phase. I talk all about these in another YouTube video also in more detail inside our course, A320 course at OneStepPrep.com. I'm gonna back up to the climb phase, and uh, let me just lower the volume here for just a second inside the sim. In the climb phase, there's this little feature here called pre-select. Now with pre-select, let's say you have a speed restriction uh, on your SID, on your standard instrument departure, that says 280 knots until advised by ATC. One of the common mistakes people will do is they'll actually set 280 knots here, not even realizing that once the aircraft enters the climb phase, which happens at the acceleration altitude on takeoff, what's gonna happen is the aircraft will go straight to 280 knots, despite the fact that you're below 10,000 feet. And of course, the challenge there is you run the risk of not being compliant or violating that 250 knot speed restriction below 10,000 feet. So what I would recommend you do here is select 250 knots. We go ahead and put 250 in the climb phase. This way, when we get to 10,000 feet, instead of having a managed speed that will go to the econ climb speed that relates directly to the cost index that we load, you would instead get 250 knots selected speed. You would notice the airplane's not accelerating forward and then go ahead and roll in using selected speed manually your uh, SID speed constraint of 280 knots in this particular example. So I guess what I'm getting at, ladies and gents, boys and girls and children of all ages in that climb phase, I would not pre-select the speed if it's particularly above 250 knots, if it's above 250 knots is the key there, because even though you're below 10, it won't realize this to McDo and it will accelerate and you could, at that point, be in violation of the speed restriction 250 below 10. So, hope you found value in the video. We'll see you in the next one. New content's always being posted up here on YouTube and brand new content is coming to our members our paid clients over at OneStepPrep.com. Some exciting new stuff we recorded. I'm gonna be thrilled to see it air here shortly. I encourage you to go grab that course at OneStepPrep.com. You'll see all kinds of brand new stuff with myself, Juan, and Joe, the JJ all day, keeping you in the know here at OneStepPrep.com. We'll see you in the program.